them, they grabbed them, and they got killed. So the point of me when I wanted that is also to show you that all these tricks that these heathens have set up for us, they're going to fall by them themselves. By the same judgment, they'll sentence us unto death that they prepared unto us. They're going to have to prepare unto them. Deuteronomy 19 and 19. Can you get that? Uh, Deuteronomy chapter 19 is 19. Right. You can start at 18. Deuteronomy chapter 19 is 18. <coughs> 18. Right. And the judges shall make diligent inquisition. And behold, if the witness be a false witness and had testified falsely against his brother, then shall you do unto him as he had thought to have done unto his brother. So guess what? If yeah. their sentence is death unto us for unrighteousness sake, just like with Daniel, they're, they're going to die by their own ways. You know, this, give, this is for about your brother, yeah, but I'm using this as an example about to show you that all the things that they have done, like they, 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 the heathen have, have dig, suck, dig, dig a, a, a bit of it, but they themselves shall fall in. That's that's what I mean. So uh, can you go back to the where you were? Uh, first yeah. Issues? yeah. So shall thou put Esau away from among you. Yeah. And Esau is going to be put away from among us. As he seeks to exterminate mm -hmm. us, so shall he be exterminated. As he seeks to put us in captivity, so shall he be put in captivity. As he seeks to put his laws, his ways, the mark of the beast into our right hand and our foreheads, brain chips, the same way the Mosai is going to deal with him. Uh, he's going to, sorry, he wants to be like the Mosai with that. But the Mosai is going to actually uh, make him his servant, our servant. Because if you have the chip in you, you're going to be his slave, perpetual slave forever, and then you're going to make a, a mark with him, like a covenant with him. But the Mosai is going to turn that around and make him our perpetual slave until extermination time. And that's all? Yeah. This is Revelation 13 and 9. If any man have an ear, let him hear. He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. He that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword. Here is the patience and the faith of the saints. That's all we're waiting for. Can you get Psalms 10 and 1? The heathen have sunk down in the pit that they dig for themselves. But uh, can we get Psalms 10 and 1? This is Psalms 10 and 1. Why, why, why saidest thou afar off, O Lord? Why hidest thou thyself in times of trouble? The Most High is hiding himself. Compared to back in the days. Look at the, look at the time of Darius. The Darius know the Most High, Yahweh. Go on. The wicked in his pride doth proceed, uh, persecute the poor. Let them be taken in the devices that they have in, ima uh, imagined. Yeah, imagine. Oh. Imagine. Let, let, they, let them be taken in the devices that they have imagined. They want to chip us and enslave us. Let them, let them be taken in that same device. We're not going to chip it. We're going to brand the fuck out of it. Just like back in the days in the slave days that you did, we're going to brand the shit out of you. Right? We might stamp it on your forehead, and we might stamp it in your right hand. It, it, it doesn't matter because it's what you want. It's your property. Just like the book, the movie Django. It's my property, and I get to do with it what I want. Or was it 12 years a slave? One of those two. You know, it's going to be your property, so you can do whatever you want with them. So, you know. So we're gonna do them back like that. But the but the but the part is, Django? Yeah. yeah. It's my property, I can do whatever I want with it. Right. So, but with the part, uh, not not with the part of the branding, you know, the chipping, no, not that part. The part of the enslavement. Because if you have that chip, you're gonna be enslaved. So the Mosai is gonna turn that enslavement back upon you. And then Esau wants to exterminate us too. After that. And then what the Mosai is gonna do, he's, he's gonna exterminate Esau. You know, as thou hast done unto my chosen, so shall it be, so shall it be done unto thee. So, uh, you got? I think you're done.
Can you give me a first answer? This is first S. This one is the last one that we leave. This is first S verse chapter 4, verse 49. Right. Moreover, he wrote for. Moreover, he wrote for all the Jews that went out of his realm up into Jewry. Darius, Darius did that. So again, Darius was a heathen, but he, but he, but he, but he did a lot of righteous things. Moreover, he wrote for all the Jews that went out of his realm up into Jewry, concerning their freedom, that no officer, no ruler, no lieutenant, lieutenant, nor treasurer should forcibly enter into their doors. Forcibly enter into their doors, yeah, right. So. And that all the country which they hold should be free without tribute. And that the Edomites should give over the villages of the Jews, which so, then they held. So as soon as we went into captivity under the Babylonians, what the hell did the Edomites do? They came and took our place. That's exactly what they've been doing for centuries now. They came and took our place. But they're doing it by deceit. See, we supplanted them. How? Basically, we talked them out of it. We was like, yo, man, why don't you give me your, why don't you sell me your birthright, man? You know what I'm saying? We didn't, we didn't steal nothing from you at that time. We just asked you, hey, you want some food? Why don't you sell me that birthright? There was nothing bad about that. You're the devil. They did it. Because all you had to do was just fast for a day or something like that and just go drink water or some shit like that, go on a water fast, and you would have still had that blessing until this day. You know how lucky we are. <laughs> you know? All you had to do was just bite it in, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> just, just, mm, just go eat grass or some shit like that. <laughs> you know? Wait, wait, wait a little grass. longer. Or go chop the leaves off of some kind of plant and eat it. But he was a greedy bastard. He probably wanted that meat with the blood in it, the juicy blood, with, which they call juice, which is blood. He probably wanted that bloody meat, you know? Medium. Greedy. <laughs> raw, Medium rare done. Raw done. He probably wanted that raw meat. Undone. 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 <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Well, lucky for us. And then we bought your birthright, but then the blessing we stole. I'll give you that one. <laughs> I'll give you that one. We stole the blessing. Okay, cool. We tricked you. You know? But... What you're doing is by deceit. You're telling people this and that. Everybody and their mama knew that the birthright was the most important thing concerning the Hebrew Israelites. Concerning, look, look at the pharaohs. All his firstborn got killed. Yeah. So everybody and every nation knew. Even the Ishmaelites until this day, they also keep the firstborn right. The Cushites do it. Hamites do it. The firstborn is the man of the house. But Elam does it too. Moab does it. That's why they killed the girls and they kept the boys. Moab did that. Because the firstborn man, he is the one that is the, you know, the leader. You know? And Ammon does it too. They're not doing it right now because they look like a bunch of girls. You know? Uh, uh, South Korea does it, did it also. North Korea still does it until this day. The point is, all the heathen nations, they know that the firstborn has the right. You know? Hamites and stuff like that, like I said, Mizraim did it too. But uh, yeah, but Esau, he wanted to be a demon. He wanted to sell his birthright, knowing how important that thing is. And by the way, if you finish Genesis 25, it says that he ate, rose up, and he himself despised his own birthright. He was like, ah, this is nothing to me. I'm, I'm finna eat. I'm finna eat today. He wasn't thinking of, about his descendants. So if, if you want to blame anyone, you should blame your forefather for, for basically screwing over your inheritance that wasn't even yours uh, to the spirit, it wasn't even yours in the flesh it was because it was given unto you in the flesh but the Most High already set it up to where the second born is going to get that blessing and we got it which is Jacob and then you can, you can do anything about it you know, you know? so uh, yeah man uh, um, and this is people that distract the shit out of you. Yeah, that is. Right, so we still we still have, we still got the uh, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, that's what I said. So the first the first the first blessed the, the the first born right, we bought it from you. 
Now the blessing is the one that we stole, which was also set up through the through you losing the, the, the birthright. Therefore, automatically the blessing was then supposed to be for us because we bought your birthright, right? We bought it, and that was not no on uh, deceit because you damn well knew the importance of the birthright. But here it is, a lot of things that Esau is doing right now, he's doing with deceit. He's going to make you sign a contract, and before you know it, he's ripping you off, man. You know? He's, he's going to make you sign something. For example, another deceit, the 15 million cities, the so-called smart cities, that shit is going to destroy the shit out of you, man. There's another deceitful trick. He making it seem as if he's going to be great. People don't want to actually live in within 15 minutes. They want to be able to travel and do things. You know? He's going to tell you, basically, Esau is a deceiver and we are supplanters. It's a different thing. Supplanter is going to take your place by basically supplanting you. You know? Because you don't want it anyway. Just like how Esau is deceiving us right now, for example. He was deceiving our females for longest that the big butt is not good. You know, that's why the, the guy came out. I like big butts and I cannot lie. What's his name again? Anyway, anyway, but anyway, but what happened? Esau started to bully the J female until she basically called herself a elephant ass. Then she didn't want it no more. But then Esau got the technology to make his own females butt big. And then they started doing it. Or he says like, oh, you got nigga lips and big noses. And then when he got the technology, he started making his fucking witch nose smaller. And his lips bigger. From the females and shit like that. They, they said we had shit skin. But by deceit, he tricked you into that. And then, you know, he started to make himself a, a little bit darker, calling it tan. So what he's doing is he's doing things by deceit. And we're doing things by supplanting. Meaning, you already know. You just don't care. And I already know, like, yo, I want that. But how can I get it? Hmm. Let something happen, and I'm going to buy it from you. That was fair. But you did get supplanted. If you check out the word supplant, it means to take one's place. But we did it fair and square, my man. I mean, I paid you for it, man. You didn't know the significance of, of what you gave. You gave me gold. <laughs> Morning, I gave I gave you, I gave you a meal, man. <laughs> More than gold. You gave me a soul. <laughs> you gave me a soul. What is a man if he if he gained a, a, a full belly but losing his soul? <laughs> That's what he got. We got your soul, bitch. Gotcha. I ain't got it back. Gotcha, bitch. Gotcha, bitch. We got you. You ain't getting it back. Fuck that, man. I ain't selling it back. I'm running. I'm spreading it to all my children. <laughs> Jacob got it. He spread it to all his kids, man. All of them. You know? So, hey, we, we got you, man. But you're doing stuff by deceit. You're lying to us like, yo, you, you black is ugly. You must be black. You nigger here. You black is ugly. And then you turn around and start making yourself dark. That's some tricky shit. Wait a minute. That ain't, that ain't fair. You know? Instead of coming to us and say like, hey, you know black is beautiful, right? Yeah, no, no. But uh, you still wanna let me, let me buy some of your color. Mm, no. That's that that's fair, you know? Because we already both know the truth. But anyway. So give me the last one to say something. Yeah, yeah. It's the same thing what you see when you uh, when they have a contract with you, right? What the brother was saying. They put the small letters in the contract. Yeah, yeah. Why they are hiding things in the in the in the contract? And even if you read the things, you still be like, you need a lawyer yeah. to break that shit down <laughs> to explain what what is written there, man. If you sign it there, you sign away your whole life, maybe, man. Yeah, man. And this shows you how they they hide things in their in the in, in plain sight, man. And that's what they doing with the trickery, man. Yeah. That's why you always gotta check them, man. And the scriptures also said, never trust thy enemy, man. Right. Because we know, know to the spirit already what he's doing. He always tries to deceive you or, or, or bring you down, man. And so he can be above you. Yep. The deceitful spirit. Um, first Corinthians, uh, no, it's verse, uh, verse uh, Kings uh, 17 and 1. Come.
This is 1 Kings 17 and 1. And Elijah, the Tishbite, who was of the inhabitants of Gilead, said unto Ahab, As the Lord Yahweh of Israel liveth before who I stand, there shall not be dough nor rain these years. What? Dough? Dough nor rain? Dew. Oh, dew, it's like uh, There shall no, not be dew nor rain these years, but according to my word, and the word of the Lord came unto him, saying, Get thee hence. So what did, what did Elijah do? He shut down the heavens from uh, raining. So he brought famine upon the land according to the power of Yahweh. So that's the type of power that the Israelites are going to get, especially the elect, first and foremost. They're going to be able to actually stop raining, make it stop raining, or make it start raining. And you have people in Africa that can do that thing right now. They pray, and all of a sudden it rains. Crazy. People be like, there's a rich guy. Well, the Mosai gave them a certain type of spirit, man. And you, you don't... You have certain people that work with spirits, yes. But you have certain people that don't work with spirits, man. You know? They work with the spirit of Yahweh Basha Meashai. They, they, they don't work with the dead entity spirits. You know? You have people that do that. Man. You have people that work with voodoo, which is entities. But you have people that work with, with grass, like a herb, sorry, herbs and water. And they pray and stuff heals you, man. Until this day. You have it in West Africa, you have it in Suriname, you have it in Guyana, you have it in Jamaica, Haiti, you know, but you, you have people that work with spirits there too. But then you have people that are there that work with the spirit of, of the Most High. They, they don't know it's Yahweh, because when I went to Suriname, they wasn't saying Yahweh, but I saw people get healed from certain things, like crazy stuff. And they was working with only two things, herbs and water. Oh yeah, third thing was prayer. So three things, herbs, water, prayer. I seen that, man, with my own eyes, so I don't need no witnesses. The scripture also says to uh, neglect not the, 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 the gift, the, the physician. No, yeah, yeah, to neglect not the physician. Yeah, yeah, look, yes. he got it right there. Neglect not the physician. And what do the physicians do? They give you water, herbs, and, uh, and they pray. Like Dr. Seppi was doing the same thing. Yeah, people like him. He wasn't working with spirits. He was working with herbs and, and water and, uh, and prayer. You know, and food and stuff like that. Did you want to put? The herbs are something uh, medical medicine. Sirach 39. Yeah. 38, 38. Yeah. No, you don't have to get it. It's Sirach 38. You don't get, you need that to the point. Vanuit je elleboog misschien. Ja, ik denk het. Kom. But according to my word and to the and the word of the Lord came unto him, saying, Get thee hence and turn thee eastward and hide thyself by the brook chariot chariot that is before Jordan, and it shall be. Terry, what Terry? Terry there. Chat. Where the brook cherish? Oh yeah, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a lake. It's Brukel. Brukel. Brukel is like a, a plain, uh, like a little, a little brook, mm -hmm. a river, and then you have a bridge over it. <coughs> it doesn't necessarily have to have a bridge, but it's still a little. That's that's a brook. God. It's like Brooklyn, Brooklyn. Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. yeah, if you go to Brooklyn, it's like what water is there. What? Huh? Yeah. Correct. Hey, Brooklyn has water, but I don't know about Brooklyn. But Brooklyn is is, is a water. But, but anyway, the word. Means. And it shall be that thou shalt drink of the brook, and I have commanded the rep, the the ravens to feed thee there. Right. So the Mosai is going to make sure that birds are going to feed. Well, he made sure that birds fed Elijah. But Yahweh the Zai is going to make sure that the same animals, because in, in, in uh, Sirach 39 it says, these things 
are for good for the righteous, but for the wicked they are turned into evil. So the same lions and the same animals that was attacking the wicked, those same animals might turn around and could bring you food. Yeah, all right, the Zayi is going to do that. All we have to do is wait. And he will. He's going to do it anyway. The question is, is he going to do it with us? We hope We hope so. Let's say that. Hopefully, let. I believe he's going to do it. But uh, we're going to see. We shall see. Because uh, you have a lot of people that was in this truth that said that the Most High is dealing with them. And at that time, uh, actually there was. Just like Saul. The Most High was dealing with him, right? Until he wasn't. So, we, right. What? Until he went off. Until he went off. So we pray that we stay on the good side of the Most High. Not the bad side. Well, I don't want to be, we don't want to be on the bad side. I don't want to be on the bad side. If you're on the bad side of the Most High, you might as well grab yourself and read the scripture before you do it too. You grab yourself a rope and tie a fucking... <laughs> Go in the middle of the ocean just buy a one-way ticket you know buy a one-way ticket to like a really deep place in the ocean and just throw yourself a pain and just go on a one-way ticket vacation to spain because that's near the ocean right where it's warm so you don't have to be in cold water it's gonna hurt so you go in warm water and then you kill yourself it's hell more comfortable than cold water i bet your ass for sure cold water i don't want to touch that shit no 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 but warm i just jump in it Fuck it, it's warm anyway. <laughs> just go take a one way flight to Spain. Just throw yourself in the ocean over there. If you know that the Moza is not down with you anymore, just kill, just kill yourself. At that moment when you think he would die, the Moza <laughs> will put him back in a new body. He comes back and still gets <laughs> <Yeah>. the destruction. <laughs> still the miserable. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Shadow, yes. Have you born with the quickness? <laughs> 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 Watch that baby little head get splattered. Splat! Does any parish be an innocent? No. You do not. Whether you're a baby, or whether you're a 40 year old, or whether you're 20, or whether you are an 80 year old, if you die violently, then the Most High set you up as such. You know? He gave you what you deserve. Uh, five. So he went and did according unto the word of the Lord. He did. He did according to the word of the Lord. Good. For he went and dwelt by the brook chariot that is before Jordan, and the ravens brought him bread and flesh in the morning. They probably stole the bread from somewhere else. I mean, do you think that the ravens made bread themselves with their little tiny feet? No. They went and they stole bread from somebody else. So the Moza allows stealing. <laughs> he allows lying too. The evil angels come and lie to you. Make you think a gram of crack Lamore is the God. <laughs> they lie to you, man. They, lie, they whisper it in your ears and you really believe it's them. You really believe it's the Most High. You believe it's the righteous angels. They lie to you. And it's okay to do so. Make sure that you don't turn into a liar because the, those, those evil angels are allowed to lie to you in order to kill you. And bread and, and flesh in the, in the evening. And he drank, drank of the brook. And it came to pass after a while that the brook dried up because there had been no rain in, in the land. Because he said so. <laughs> He said, let there be no rain and no dew. And then it stopped. And then the Most High, after it was dried up, then the Most High said, go to another place. And uh, basically, yeah, that's it, man. Basically, the Most High is going to take care of us, Yara Ratizah, just like he did Mordecai, just like he did Daniel, just like he did... Meshach, Shibet, and, uh, and uh, Abednego. And uh, just like he did, who else? Elisha, Elijah. Every, Elisha, everybody, everybody, just like he did everybody. But these are written before a fourth time for our learning. So that we have that faith within us. 
So with that, we're going to say Shalom. All praises go to the Most High, Yahweh, Hashem, Yahweh, Shem, Hashem, Makakadash, double under center, and under the boss, it's a great millstone, with the teachings of the scriptures, among other things. Shalom, 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 Shal